Have you ever read a book just to completely forget most of the information a few days later? Or do you find yourself inspired by productive practices and ideas you come across but fail to ultimately take action in your day-to-day -day life? It's hard to truly appreciate books for the life-changing insight they provide when facing such struggles, but thankfully, I was able to overcome these obstacles thanks to Obsidian and some other simple note-taking principles. In this video, I'm going to share the workflow I've been using to take effective literature notes. If you want to truly extract and apply the wisdom contained in various forms of writing, be sure to watch until the very end. First off, it's easier to navigate through notes and remember things if they're tailored to your needs. I'm going to share my personal workflow for taking book notes as an example, but it isn't the only or best way to write such notes. It's important to add your own personal flavors and experiment with something that works best for you. Anyways, one thing I really enjoy about my workflow is the frequent repetition and reflection since it helps me internalize meaningful concepts and apply what I learned into my everyday life. Let's get into the process, shall we? To provide some examples, I'll be using the notes I took for the book The Plateau Effect by Bob Sullivan and Herbert Thompson. The book goes over the reasons why we may fail to see results or experience stagnancy from our efforts, providing insight and solutions to start seeing progress again. In the top, I declare things like the status, authors, tags, medium, and the link to the application note. Since I don't refer to this note that much, I just tend to base the structure of these notes off of the structure of the actual book, with its sections and chapters being the different headers. Second, I also have a template for an application note, a more personalized note which helps me reflect and apply what I read. The three quotes and sentences help summarize the key takeaways of the book. For the three sentences, they can be as simple as grouping together the different chapters of the book, like shown. To cultivate a curious and eager mindset, I like to think about the author's purpose for writing the book as their experiences can help inspire me to further internalize the book's contents. Writing important ideas gets me thinking about the different notes I can create or add onto inside my obsidian vault. If you want, you can even start preparing them like shown. To make the experience more personal, I also record any connections and insights I make with my own life and create future plans to convert my newfound knowledge into impactful actions and practices. After all, what's the point of spending all this time and effort if you don't even take action on what you learn? Now that we have the note structure set up, it's time to go over the actual note-taking process. I tend to be more liberal with my note-taking, writing any refreshing ideas or points that could potentially support my already existing notes. I also like to copy quotes and images that resonate or greatly summarize key ideas. If I'm contemplating on whether I want to write a note, I just end up writing it. I also like to keep my application note open just in case I have anything relevant to write. After my reading session, I like to quickly go over the notes I just took before working on my application note. Did I find a quote to add to the top 3? Is there an idea I want to incorporate into the 3 sentence summary? I just write down anything that falls into its respective categories while it's still fresh in my mind. After your last reading session and application, it's finally time to start converting these ideas into your second brain. When starting from scratch, converting all these ideas can be a bit daunting. As a result, I like to use an already existing note as a starting point and begin forming connections from there. In the plateau effect, to connect the ideas into my already existing notes, I would start at my wellness note, then make a productivity note, maybe even a stagnancy or plateau effect note on top of it. Reference notes are what you turn back to when you want to remember certain ideas or concepts. Before creating your permanent notes, I would recommend having a template for mocks and notes bound to a hotkey. You can include things like the title of the note and the date or time of the note with these labels, and if you're taking notes about one specific category, you can include related tags in the template as well. To do this, just create a template folder, create a template note inside it, and then enable the template's plugin for Obsidian. From there, the list of important ideas you wrote down earlier can help formulate a structure for the different ideas and notes you took. 
I personally like to create new notes for separate ideas or concepts. In this note, I have various headers depending on what the note is referencing. In my default note template, I have a principles header to describe the concept accompanied by other headers like benefits, downfalls, and cultivation. I just personally like to use these one word headers to better categorize the different concepts and ideas. If an idea you're writing in a note header has its own characteristics and can be broken down further, feel free to create another note for it. After creating some notes, here's the structure so far. It might not be as viewer friendly or creative as some of my other notes, but it still serves the purpose of transferring all the important notes I took into my Obsidian Vault. Application notes are for applying what you learned in your life. To help remind myself of certain practices and ideas, I have a personal laws note for different topics and a daily note to help kickstart my day in the right mindset. Much like having sticky notes all over the mirror, I reference these notes on my daily note to remind myself to read them. I haven't personally done this, but having a list or procedure notes could be used to reference the different practices you have in your permanent notes. For more casual forms of literature, like blogs or reddit posts, I just tend to instantly add the ideas into their respective notes. If I'm feeling really lazy, I'll copy paste the stuff into my daily note where I'll sort things out at the end of the day. Such mediums are already concise enough, so taking notes or intensive reflection isn't really necessary. If you want, you can even link the source in the note you take for more context. So that's about everything. Thanks for watching until the very end. I hope my workflow has given you some inspiration and ideas for your own, whether you're just a beginner or an advanced expert. I used to take book notes using Google Docs, but switching to Obsidian has given me way more freedom and tools to work with, allowing for true personalization. If you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to subscribe and like and share this video. If you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to like and share this video and subscribe for more content like this. Stay mindful.